55, whatever. I need to pack, pull out my suitcases. I don't need like, I have to pack in preparation for like two weeks, which means I need to pack about like 10 outfits. My suitcase smells like spray that you put in your hair. Sorry for like the video quality is like bad. <laughs> oh, this is like just a vlog for me to just talk to you. My heat protection spray spilled all over the bag. I still, it's still like a full bottle, so not that much spilled, but it spilled enough to where the entire bag, when I opened it, smelled like the heat protection spray. We have bum you here, and then Pochanko. I'm organizing outfits. This is how I do it. Like, I just roll everything into little balls. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really had fun with my outfits in a while. I haven't really experimented too much in like the past couple of months. So it makes getting dressed like this a little bit boring, but same time I still look, I feel cute. Like I know the outfits are cute. I'm gonna switch it up and still feel cute. <laughs> but I just want some more unique pieces and like different pieces than what I already have. I'm a person who doesn't mind change. Don't mind change at all. I mean, it depends on what we're talking about, honestly. Like it took me some convincing to come down here for school, but that's because the times that I've come down here, I just never really had fun. So I didn't see the appeal of coming down here for school, but I wasn't hesitant to go back to school. It was more like I'm hesitant of the location. Three, four, five, six, this. I forgot I have to pack like two birthday outfits because my stepfather's birthday is August 6th but his birthday party the 28th of this month. Be amazed at my packing skills. Everything is rolled. But I will see you guys in the morning because I need to finish doing this really quickly. Get in the shower really quickly. Finish packing really quickly. And go to sleep to wake up in like four hours and drive two hours to our mother's. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm wearing goodbye old apartment. I have to pee. I have to get out of the car now. And go back inside to go pee. I'll be so real with you guys right now. I feel like because I didn't take a shower yesterday. I haven't taken a shower today. That's what I'm in the bathroom for now. And. Like hair is slightly puffy because humidity. It's whatever. But then I have these two giant pimples. They're not giant, but I'm not used to pimples. So these two things to me are giant. They come out of nowhere. I also have a little tiny, tiny one on my forehead. I also have like some stuff going on over here on this side of my cheek. I think it's because I definitely have changed my routine in like the last past two months. That's four, this is two. I added more things to my routine. I just wanted to work on, you know, bettering my skincare routine. Even though my skin wasn't bad, I just wanted to do more for myself and my face and my skin. But I think what the issue is, is that before I was using a scrub and that was drying on my face. And I used that like every couple of days, even with moisturizer, it was drying on my face. Now, I feel like I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm using a cleansing oil and I know that those have things in them that can clog your pores. So it could be this. And I'm also using a skin conditioning rice toner and it could be this. I've been using this for longer than I've been using this. It could be both. I think that that's doing all of this to my skin. Also, I just haven't really been eating the best for the past couple of days, but I'm telling you right now, my skin never gets this affected, which it's not even that much, but it's more than usual. My skin never gets this affected by like the foods that I eat unless I have like two weeks straight where it's just straight junk food, nothing healthy, nothing nutritional, nothing. But I might have to go back to using Cetaphil, Cetaphil, whatever. I might have to go back to using one of those cleansers and then just doing my moisturizer and then like once a week doing the more shaving it routine. But I think we're gonna shove this one to the side for a second.
where I have time to do absolutely whatever I want. Tomorrow is literally the last day where I don't have to worry about what's happening next week because I start school on Wednesday, so that's fun. It's Sunday, well, we're going into Sunday, Saturday night. I'm packing to go back to school. I have to do the drive back um, so I can finally see my roommates because I haven't met two of them in person yet. I got a couple of things that I am bringing there that I did not have. <laughs> the amount of skincare stuff that I have is kind of crazy. <laughs> then I got things like gloves. My cousin opened them, so. I got these gloves so I can do the dishes. Mind free of touching stuff. I like using gloves when I wash the dishes because I don't want to touch all the nasty stuff, but also because it keeps your hands like youthful. Hands get less wrinkly, you know? I can just show you guys what I got new tomorrow when I bring it into the apartment. I realized though, I am kind of going crazy with like getting things for the shared space. And I know I probably need to slow down because I got a garbage bin. I got new couch covers. I got a rug that my mother's giving me that matches like the vibe of the couch covers. I also wanted to get like lamps and other light fixtures for the living room, but I probably need to like slow down. <laughs> I also wanted to get a dish dryer rack thing. But once again, I need to slow down because the space will be full of my stuff and not everybody else's. And it's a shared space, so. But at least I was able to provide like the big things like couch covers, rug, garbage bin. <laughs> because for a second I was like, oh, I should probably buy should probably buy like slippers for the entire like apartment for when people even for when we have people over like i should also get slippers no oh i'm also providing a shoe rack i'm doing too much i know <laughs> there's also stuff that my family was giving me i don't need a giant rug in my room and i was also being really specific with the garbage cans that i wanted to get because i don't like a flip lid where you like push it in and it like flips like that because you have to like, push it in and it flips i hate that I wanted to get one that you step on and then it opens. So I did. I have a garbage bag. So. But I only got an 11 gallon one because I wanted to get a 13 gallon one. But a lot of like, we went to this discount store called Gabe's. And a lot of the bigger ones were still like $20. Versus the 11 gallon one that I got was $12. And then the 12 gallon one, 12 and 13 ones that I saw were like $20. So it was like, it's literally one to two gallon difference. But like a $6 difference. Is that math correct? I don't know. No, like a seven dollar difference. I need to pack. I'm excited. Of course I'm sad to be leaving my family, but I'm excited to begin my junior year. That's because I had so many scares. Freaking babs up. I don't even want to talk about that. Like, behind the scenes college stuff is, oh yeah. 